cleanup. Well, the dynamics within families explain a lot, but have you heard of oldest daughter syndrome? I haven't until now. CBS 13's Hunter Sowers is getting answers on what this study found, Hunter. Pretty yeah, fascinating. Guys, pretty fascinating, and I got to say there's even some science that's going to back up what was once just a pop psychology term. So if you've got siblings, you know everyone's got their own role, whether the middle child or the baby of the family. But when it comes to older sisters, there might actually be something to all that pressure they feel to help protect and of course, we know as journalists, we try not to make the story about ourselves, but I could not help share my own sister's perspective. In a first of its kind study, researchers followed 250 families for 16 years. There really hasn't been a lot of research like this where we've been able to see the long-term effects of stress in pregnancies. An eldest daughter herself, UC Merced professor Jennifer Hahn Holbrook, not surprised by the results. We find examples of that all over the world, that firstborn girls are called upon to raise their younger siblings. The study did not observe the same in firstborn boys. Girls were called upon more to help out at home. It might have been in mom's best interest. Now, unconsciously, she's speeding the development of her firstborn girls so that she has a helper at the nest. When I first read the study, I instantly thought of my own sister, the oldest of four. You take on that responsibility of wanting to help and wanting to look after your siblings and do what you can. Relating to the feeling of taking on extra responsibilities, and even seeing it now in her own family as a mother of three, she finds herself leaning on her oldest daughter, Carter, for extra help. Because that's not her job. And so I'm just more aware now that I don't put added pressure on her because obviously it shows that they're already putting pressure on themselves. Researchers found over time it's leading to faster brain development in girls. The study hopes to encourage mothers to share the stress load. Moms are really busy and they need the help, but making sure that everyone in the family is pitching in. The study's now entering a new phase. As the children that they have been following enter adulthood, they're going to be looking to find any other clues as to what this older daughter syndrome could uncover about brain development and stress during pregnancy in this new phase of life. But yes, Curtis made the point. It's a little hard to tell when it was my sister's kids <laughs> and when right. it was me as a child with her. Those they genes the are same. strong. They're strong, but it was fascinating to see the parallels. I bet you're going to spark so much discussion <laughs> between siblings now saying, I told you that you, this was a thing. Exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Thanks, Hunter. Guys.